Hey, boys and girls, this week we're working on animal towers. So you can see this tower here is just three different dogs. This one I did in Sharpie and watercolor. You may want to just do yours in black and white, maybe, if it's something like these three sheep that are playing. They're standing on top of each other. I could watercolor this background and leave the sheeps like this. Um, you could do birds, right? And each bird could have different patterns. You could fill in with uh, crayons, markers, colored pencils, whatever you have at home. Or you could do turtles. This was a sample that we did a long time ago that we cut out shells and we glued them down and we added different patterns on each shell. And this one is uh, crayon and watercolor. So whatever supplies that you have at home, um, I would start with your pencil. All right, so taking a piece of paper, you are going to fold it in half. This one I already cut. So I fold your paper in half long way so you have long narrow piece all right so um, I have this large one but I think I'll use a small one so you can see it maybe I want to just do some birds with big eyes so I can start with these giant eyes a beak give him his eyes and his body is just a U. And then his legs, straight lines, and then give him his little feet. So there's my first bird. The next bird should be smaller. So I'm going to add his legs first on top of his head. Big U for the body. And then I'm adding the eyes and the beak. Maybe he's going to look that way. And if I wanted to, I could add little wings. That's cute for the middle one. And let's add something here. Maybe he's going to move. And this little guy. I don't know if I'll have three or four. So let's see. We'll put this one here with his big eyes. And I'm going to put a very tiny one on the top. Let's see. If this will fit, he's going to be looking down. Let me give him a little hair on the top too. So there I have one, two, three. I have four birds. You can make as many animals as you want, starting at the bottom and going to the top. Just make that, make sure that they are starting large. They're getting smaller and smaller and smaller. After you've done that, then you can have fun and you can add color now using your crayons, your markers, colored pencils, if you want to paint, whatever supplies that you have at home, you can go ahead and start doing that. I can add patterns on these birds. So maybe this one is going to be polka dotted. Let's see, we'll give him a few more polka dots. And I don't want to forget his head here. He looks like an egg. Look at that. So we have the first bird there. Maybe the second bird is going to have stripes. And I could color these in if I want some wider stripes. And then maybe, oh, I need to give them a little color up there. And this next bird is going to have maybe some wiggly lines or wavy. Let's see, let's give them waves. Uh, 
Now I have one left. Let's see. I think I'll give him some little stars. All right. If you have watercolor, maybe you want to watercolor the sky um, around him or add some grass, whatever you want to add to your picture. Have fun.